Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you my new and improved custom sound resource pack generator. Just like the last one, this generator will allow you to add your own custom sounds into Minecraft. In order for me to show you how to use the generator, I have to first download it. If we open up this text document, here we have a Google Drive link. Feel free to copy it down, but just so you know, it's also in the description. Now that I copied the Google Drive link, we can close this out, open the web browser, and paste in the link. It should take you to this nice folder, and we can download this thing right here. We open it like this. It says Custom Sound Resource Pack Generator, version 1.3.2. So we just click Download. Let's try the scans for viruses, but it can't scan for viruses, but I'm downloading it and showing you that it's fine. So I hope you can trust me. So now that we download it like this, save it to desktop and there you go. It's on the desktop. Now that it's on the desktop, we can open it up and it should say windows protect your PC. If you're on Mac, I don't know what it says. It should work for Mac, assuming it works. I don't have a Mac, I, I can't tell you. I'm sorry if it doesn't work. But because it's like this, we click more info and run anyway. But the reason why it's like that, because there's no publisher and it's an unknown app that you just downloaded that's not commonly downloaded. So that's why it's like that. But now that the program's opened up in the console, you'll see, you'll see this cool text that's all in color. Very cool. Program created by Kyle Sebesta, so you can easily add your own custom sounds into Minecraft. And that is true. That's what the program is designed to do. So if we look here, here is the pack.png preview right here. This shows you your custom resource pack, pack image. If we quickly change it by clicking pack image and selecting one of these images like hello it will show you your pack image which is pretty cool but if you have an image that is elongated so it's not a perfect square because minecraft really likes perfect squares it'll condense the image which you don't really want as you can see this guy's like squished to the sides and it's not really good so always make sure that your images are almost squared because this isn't exactly squared either but it's squared enough that it still looks fine oh and also in the console it says custom image set as pack but if you just add an image and then click cancel it'll default to the custom resource pack pack so let's add uh, the hello guy again and click add sound we can go to our dot ogg sounds because minecraft only accepts dot ogg we have these sounds right here if i try adding crashing with a capital c we'll give a crashing or it'll ha uh, it'll give an error saying crashing contains invalid characters only lowercase letters are accepted and that is true because minecraft doesn't like those fancy symbols or capitalizations and spaces it doesn't like any of that. So all you can do is have either underscores or lowercase lettering. So if we just select one of the sounds that fit the requirements like access denied, you'll see that sound access denied has been added and has this really cool drop down where you can view all your sounds. So we add some more sounds like beep boop beep and then crash you can see all your sounds right here. Let's just quickly go and rename crashing to lowercase crashing. And add the sound. And because it's a lowercase now, we can now add it to the generator. But let's say, oh, I don't want crash. 
you can select crash and click delete sound and it'll delete sound or it'll delete crash from your sound list so all you have are these three and if you want it again you can easily add it back but I don't want it because it's exactly the same thing as crashing anyway this is your resource pack name at default the resource pack name would be my custom sounds but let's change it up let's just say my sounds pack I, I don't know why but here is your resource pack uh, description you can leave it blank do whatever how's the best and here is your pack.mc meta number so what pack.mc meta is it's the version of your resource pack that minecraft reads so if your version like 1.8 this won't work, don't do it. But if you're in version 1.8, I think 1.8's resource pack is like one. So you'll set this to one and it'll work in version 1.8, maybe, I'm not sure. But if you're in like 1.16, you use six, but the current version is 1.17 and they change the resource pack things again. So now it's seven. This is your sound folder. It's what all your sounds will be going inside of. So you can do my sounds, but this won't work simply because it has a space. So if I click export resource pack, this please fix the errors mentioned in console. So we take a look at console. It says my sounds contains invalid characters. Only underscore numbers and lowercase letters are accepted and unavailable to export. So we can easily add an underscore right here. And now if we export the pack, select the folder. Let's just select desktop. And it says generating and all this info. And look, it appeared. My sounds pack. Resource pack has been successfully generated. So if we look in here, you can see our pack.mc meta has number seven, our description, and our pack.png is the same as the one in the generator. And we take a look into assets, Minecraft sounds, my sounds. You can see all of our sounds are in the sound folder. So now that they're in the sound folder, we can test it out by doing percent app data percent slash dot minecraft slash resource packs. And it should take us to the resource packs folder where we can drag and drop our resource pack sound folder into the resource pack folder and go into Minecraft. Now that we are in Minecraft, we can click options, resource packs, and there you go. My sounds pack. Kaseka the Zibiksika had Kasajiba by Cows the Best. So now we can load it up. Take a bit to load. And then you can go into your world, your test world, any world you want. Should work regardless. And now you should just be able to do uh, play sound, sound, and it should show up all your sounds. So if we just play this one real quick, master S. Access denied. That's really loud. And we can play this next one. And we can play this next one, which is our last sound in the pack, crashing. And there you go. If you do have problems though, I suggest renaming this sounds folder to music because apparently music, the music folder is designed to have a longer duration if your sound suddenly gets cut off or something like that. I'm not really sure, but yeah. There's also these cool features within the program 
If you need to unlock the window size, you can click unlock window size. And now you can change it however you like, stretch it up, stretch it down, but it's all going to be in a fixed position. And just say you're like, oh, it's too big. I want it revert back to the original size. You can click reset window settings and it'll reset it to its original size. In help, you can look about the program, this program for Minecraft, which makes it easier to add your own custom sounds to Minecraft. Custom sounds resource pack generator version 1.3.2. About the author, about me, custom resource pack generator by Cows the Best, and you click yes to go to my YouTube channel. And to report a bug, you click that report bug channel, it takes you to my Discord, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I don't know, it's a bit long. This video has been a bit long, I apologize, but yeah. Haven't recorded a video in a bit, so hope you like it. See ya.